Thanks for tuning in for another video. Uh, today I am going to be talking about the S Pen and everything you could do on the Z Fold 4, which a lot of this stuff does apply to the other Note lines and uh, the new uh, S23 uh, Ultra that will be coming out with the S Pen. Basically, this thing does a lot of things. I'm going to break this up with two videos just because there was just so much. For this video, I'll go through all the apps that come with the S Pen and all the what all the apps do. Then the next video, I'm going to be going over to the note-taking app that the S Pen has and everything you could do with that, which is just a lot of stuff. So this is actually uh, really cool. It's not just for writing and drawing pictures and coloring and things like that. It actually does a lot of things. If you can uh, give me some uh, helpful comments or um, like the video, turn on the notifications, that would be wonderful. But let's get right into it. This is the S Pen Fold Edition. Uh, there is an S Pen Fold Edition Pro where you get the Bluetooth features, which allows you to kind of use your use it as a wand and you could make your uh, volume on the music go up or down or move your tracks or take pictures and things like that. Um, most of them, I think, are kind of gimmicks, but I did use the one with the pictures uh, uh, quite frequently, but uh, that we don't have on this one. So this is just a regular uh, S Pen, and I'll show you this thing does a lot of stuff just on its own. So let's get right into it. If you just tap the, tap the pen here, this little icon comes up. You can move this up or down, move it over any way you want, but it's got to be on the edges somewhere. And if you click it, you get this kind of thing. You get all the uh, notification. You get all your apps there. Now, this is kind of a boring one. Uh, some of the older Note devices had a whole bunch of different ways of kind of putting these things on there. So let me just show you how to change that. We got to get into the Good Luck app, which is right here. This is from the Samsung Galaxy Store. You just click on that, and there's a bunch of different. Um, uh, apps in here that you download and then it modifies a lot of other things which uh, I'll probably do a video about this in the future but for right now you just go into Pentastic and then if you do this this is the default that's what I have there now then this is the compact so there's no words on there it's just much smaller this is you know kind of the black and white version and this is the one that rotates and this is kind of the rotating black and white one uh, so you can see kind of which one you want if we click on this right and then also we could do this so you could change your little um, we see that little dot there in front there, the little default uh, icon of the pointer. You could turn that into, you know, a crocodile. You can kind of make it big. And, you know, then you got the crocodile there and whatever. So you could do a bunch of these things. You can custom, you could uh, open up a picture or something like that, and you could make it into this. I don't know how useful it is, but sometimes it's kind of fun. Or you could do, like, you know, just an arrow here if you want. Then you can make the arrow real big. Uh, sometimes it's the good feature is that you can make it smaller, but um, we'll just go into the standard here for now. Huh? There we go. Then you could also change what you do for your double tap uh, shortcut when the screen is off, and you could change it to whatever you want there. And then if we tap this, we're going to get this thing, and then you can kind of rot rotate it around. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um, I'll do the other option just so you can kind of see uh, what all the apps are called and all that kind of stuff. So here we are with this big thing here. Now there's a, a bunch of different things you can do here. You can also just add an app. And now these are the S Pen apps that are specifically designed just for S Pen, but you could actually add in anything, one of these apps, any of the, your other apps that you want. So if you just want to add the weather on there, so now you go like this, and then if you do the, you're using your S Pen, you could just click here and that will just open up your weather app. Also, if you have this and you have some on here that you don't want to really use anymore, you can just hold it and you can just throw it up here and to remove it. The first app I'm going to go over is the glance feature. That's right here, which um, is kind of very useful, but sometimes it's not. And I'll just show you the, you know, what I kind of use it for and what you might want to be able to use it for. So the easiest one would be the calculator, I would think. And it's just something that you would probably use very conveniently. So I have it right here. There's the calculator, right? Now, if you uh, want to want this one to be in the glance mode, you just hit it. Now it's down here in the corner. Now you can do whatever you want. You can go onto a web page or whatever, and then you're trying to figure out how much this thing's going to cost you. you just, hov just hover over it, and then you got the calculator. Now, the great thing about this glance feature is that you can actually work on this app and do your stuff, and then just take your pen away, and then it will go back into the glance feature. And you go back. Sorry, I tapped it by accident there, but if you just hover it, then your number's there. And then you move your pen away, and then it goes away. So now you could be using this for a bunch of stuff. If you have a web page or something like that that you have in the corner here, you can open up the web page, kind of scroll through it, go where you want to, and then take your pen away, and it will glance back into the little corner here. Now, you can't move this anywhere in the middle, but you can move it to another corner, you know, to kind of get it out of the way. 
Now, uh, sometimes I was uh, thinking, you know, a long time ago, if you had a QR code uh, and you had to get into a, somewhere and you needed, you know, the QR code was your pass to get in, or if you had some details about, uh, you know, flying or traveling and you had your gates or, you know, whatever on there, and you just wanted to be able to have it in the corner here, you put it over there and glance it, it would be very easily uh, accessible. But if you do this, you know, that's great, that's there. But once you shut the uh, screen, it's gone, the glance feature. Then also if you close the screen, uh, it would be gone. So this is not very useful on the uh, Z Fold 4 just because you're not gonna be carrying around your open screen with the power on all the time to have this glance feature on there. I was also thinking it might be good for if you had um, you know, a schedule or something like that and uh, at school or college and you're trying to figure out you know, where your classes are, or where the buildings are, or if you wanted to have a little map in there, uh, that would be an, a great idea. But again, it doesn't work on um, the fold just because you, you once you shut the button or close the screen it's gone so just another feature uh, that you would maybe want to do is just do the pop-up so you go like here and this could be again your email or, or your map or anything like that in there and then you can make just small just like this and now that's there so now the s pen doesn't work on the front of the screen which would be nice but i usually just use my finger here you do this and you make it small now here it is and that would have been again your map your directions your qr code you know whatever you need and that just stays there so that's that's how i would handle all those kind of things i was talking about instead of using the glance feature but the other thing you could use it for is if you know you're here uh we're looking at a computer here trying to compare things so now we do the glance feature and now it's down there now if you open up the Brave app and you go into another window or something like that, it's gonna think you're using this, so then it will disappear. But if you go into Chrome, okay, now I'm looking at this you know, computer over here, and I'm looking at the specs and the price, and I just go here and I can kind of go back and forth and toggle it and, and do what I want. So there's a couple of good features that you can use that one for. And to get rid of the glance mode, you just gotta hold it and then a little remove up there pops up, you just drop it in there and that's gone. Another awesome one that I use all the time is the magnify. So you just go like this and you get the little screen up here to magnify, right? So now I use this all the time when I'm shopping because sometimes you can't see, uh, you know, something or you just want to know the detail or the size of something or the, or how many, uh, you know, ounces are in something. So you just hold the magnify, magnifier over there and just blows up everything that's right there. And this actually works out pretty well. Sometimes it's a little distorted, but it usually helps out to be able to see the fine print on a lot of different things. And then also you could, uh, you could see the size of that screen, that little magnifying square there. And I could make it smaller. Or I could make it bigger. So that's the difference there. Then, of course, you could change your magnification on here. So you just click this. And you got these uh, options. You got the 150 to the 300, and you can pick whatever you want. Now, this will stay there forever unless you exit out. So you just have to hit X, and now that's gone. So the magnifier is a great feature that I use all the time. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is a screen capture, which is used a lot. So let me uh, just open up something here. So we got this here, and you hit that, and there, or Smart Select, it's called, I'm sorry. So you do Smart Select, and now you could have a rectangle where you could just... Oops, sorry. Make a rectangle, and that would be great. You could also uh, lasso it, going like this. And you can kind of do any kind of freehand thing you want to do, and that will lasso it. And you could also do this, and we could do a circle. So you kind of just like this, and you can see that circle there moving. So you're not really drawing the circle, you're just kind of making it, and it will find what you want to do there. You could also, uh, I'm not going to show you how to do GIF, sorry. And uh, you could also pin it like this and then you have this and it'll pin kind of just the middle there but you could also just move this around and then you can pin that if you want so now let me just show you a little bit more here so let's do our uh, rectangle and we'll just kind of do this spot here now that you could pin this just if you want you could save this to your gallery or whatever but you could also uh, download it if you want you could share this and email this to somebody right we could write on this and now we could share it to somebody or download it, which is kind of great. Obviously, you could, you know, change your pen color, your pen colors, and you could, you know, erase it or whatever you want to do there. I'll be going over the pens and the erasers and all that kind of stuff in the notes uh, video that I'm going to be doing, which is going to have a lot of stuff on there. But this is, you just hit share, and again, you can kind of send this to whoever you want, and that works out fine if you want to... Uh, copy something and then circle something and make some notes about it or send someone just a picture of it, real easy to do. Oops, let's, let's discard that. And we'll discard this again. So let me show you also, we got this. We do the screen capture. I'm gonna make a rectangle. I'm gonna to try to get all this in there. 
So that's that. And now I'm going to extract the text. I'm going to text all the text that was written there, and then I'm going to copy it. Right? And now I go into like a Word document. This is a new Word document. And I just put this here, and I can go ahead and paste what I just had. And there it is. So now, uh, and then I could also do this. Right, uh, you know, Word document will let me uh, draw this. So this was the Costco computer, right? And I could write the date or the price, or if I didn't get it in there, whatever else I want to add on there. And then I could save that if I want. So now I got that saved in my Word document. Now I am, you know, doing some comparison shopping here. So I'm going to look for something over here. This is the other computer I want to get. So I just tap the screen here, get this, do my screen select, get my rectangle. Now I got this. And I missed a little bit of that, but I could extract the text again, right? And I'm going to copy. And you can see it copied it there. And so now I can go back to my Word document. And so this is my Word document that I had before. I can go right in here, and I can go ahead and paste this. So now this is my second computer. And again, I could write my drawer. Let's do this, right? This is from, who knows? This is from Best Buy, right? Whatever. And now, again, I could just save this like any other document. And this, I could do this for, you know, five or six computers. And I got all my stuff here, all my details and specs and things like that. And now I can compare and see what I want to buy. So that's a real great uh, feature with this uh, screen. I always get that name wrong. It's Smart Select, right? So let me show you another feature that uh, the Smart Select could do. I just went to a website, so now I've got an image, right? Didn't mean to toggle that. So here we go. So now we're going to do Smart Select. I got the rectangle there. And I'm going to just kind of capture this thing. Now, if I wanted to kind of copy and paste this or put it in a picture or something like that, that's what it's going to be. If I wanted to, if I wanted to catch just this chair, I'd have to outline it just like this super perfectly, right? Very difficult to do. But this little feature here, and click on that, and there it is. Now it auto-selected, and it's got all around there, so it's perfect. And I could even, uh, if I wanted to, kind of move the lines out a little bit more, or I could erase some of the lines. I could do the plus and minus. But now I am done. So now this is my image. I can pin this. Now I got this thing. So I can insert this into a picture or I could, you know, kind of email this or I could do something with it where I could write on it or draw pictures or whatever I want to do. So just a real cool uh, feature you could do with that. So I still got this chair floating around. What am I doing with it, right? I could do a bunch of things. But also just to show you here, I could shrink it down so it's a little... There it is. Just had to find it. It's a little button there if I want to use to access that quick. Or if you just tap it again, again, I can exit and just get rid of it, or I can download it. Now that's going to go right down into my galleries. And there it is in my gallery, right? And just automatically saved. Again, now I could modify this or crop it or, you know, do any of the photo effects I want to do to it. And you can copy like any image like that. And it actually works very good where it just finds the exact image you're looking at. Now I could add this to a picture, I could modify it, email it, draw on it, do whatever I want. It, it's really flexible with that. The other thing you could do here, we do this, we got that. Now the other thing is screen write, which is basically just a um, screenshot, and then you write whatever you want on it. Oh, uh, just in case, I, I'm not going to show you how to do live images. <laughs> I used that once or twice, and it, it really was just kind of gimmicky for me. Uh, like I said, I'm also not going to show you how to do the GIFs. Uh, I just don't do those. And then also, um, I'm not going to show you how to do the AR doodles or any of that. And I'm not going to show you that in the other video, I promise, uh, because that was just, um, you know, I think that's just kind of gimmicky. People are not going to be using that very often. But ScreenWrite, we will be using that. So if I do this, you can see you just took a picture there. And now I could do whatever I want here. Again, I could save it. I could share it just as it is. Or I can go ahead and write on it. And again, I could change whatever I want with my colors here. I don't know, we'll do orange here, I could do, you know, one of these things, whatever you want to do here. And then I could write and do whatever you want. And then you could also just crop this if you want, right? And that's automatically cropped and blown up a little bit. Now, again, you could download it to your photos, and then you could do whatever you want with it. Or you could just share it, hit this, and then all your apps show up of what you want to do with it. So kind of cool feature there. So a lot of people probably use that. If you're on, a, you know, a website, you're doing this, and, uh, you know, you want to see... Go here, we do the smart right, screen right, I mean. And now here I can say, oh yeah, look at this. Look, it has this thing and it has this awesome feature there, whatever. And now I could just save it just like that. And hey, this is what I want for my birthday. And there you go. So another cool uh, app on here is Translate. And this one I honestly don't use very often, but it's definitely very cool. So I go on here, I could hit 
I just opened a website, just opened a website where I had some actual text on here. And then I do uh, this, and then we're going to go into translate. So it's in English, but I can go ahead and just click on that, and I could change it to whatever language I want. Right, and then I could translate it to Spanish or whatever I want. Now, if I uh, just hover over something like this, right? Now, everyone, uh, let me see if you could see that there. So everyone, todo el mundo, right? Right there. Okay, so that's how you could do that. And again, you could read the whole article like this if you'd like, right? If you really had a lot of patience. But if you don't have a lot of patience, then you could just click this little T there, change that to uh, that little sheet, I guess it's called. Now I just hover it over here. Now we'll do this. So now it's just translating. You can see here that line. But if you want more than that, well, then you just click here and get these little edges. You can move this one up, move this one down, and now give it a second, and it's translating that whole thing. And again, you could do this for the whole uh, article if you want, or, you know, just a little bit. Uh, you could also move this in if there's just a column on the side or something that you need to translate, uh, and that's how you do it. So kind of cool there, and then to it will stay in this mode until you exit. So you just got to X that out. Actually, you know what? There was one more I wanted to show you that I just thought of. So if I go in here, I'm going to go to Write on Calendar. There's a couple of ways you could access this, but it's kind of real convenient here. So I just went uh, far enough into the future where I don't have anything uh, on my schedule of things to do. But then I can go ahead and just hit, you know, the pen. And again, we could adjust this, you know, thicker, thinner. You could change any of these pens. I could change any of the colors, you know, whatever you want to do. And then you could just X that. And now um, a lot of times I just use this, you know, maybe circle a date or something that I need to do. Or if I'm doing this for, you know, this whole week, you know, I'm off or, you know, something like that. But then you could also, if you need to, you can kind of magnify this. And now I'm just looking at this one day here, uh, Bill's birthday, right? And I could, if that's too thick, I could do this. And I could just bring that down to this, Bill's birthday, right? Now that's obviously a mess like that, but, but then when I minify it back to the regular space, there it is. And again, that's a little, I can make that different. I can make change it to colors here. So let's do that. And I can make it a little thicker if you want. We could do this. And this is uh, Tom's birthday, right? And then I could just minify that back down. And then it just fits into that column real easy. I could do that. I could erase all this stuff if I want to. And then you could save it. Now, just a caveat, this only works with um, Samsung Calendar. If you have the Google Calendar, it won't work, or Outlook, or any of that. So it just works with, works with the Samsung Calendar. And again, this is a really cool feature, because I just love writing things on there, or just adding a little something, or just emphasize something. And again, there's a couple of different ways to get into the, uh, the calendar. Then also, if you say, hey, you know what, I never used this live messaging, why don't I just get rid of it? And then it goes back to there. Then if you want to add it back in, you just slide it in if you want. Okay. If you uh, thought anything of this video and uh, this gave you any kind of information, please hit subscribe, like, uh, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.